In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Circle Array tab from the Step and Repeat and Array tools from within the Design Center. Now by Circle Array, what we're talking about is repeating a particular object around a circular shape. I'll show you what I mean by that. If I change the quantity here, you'll see how this star shape goes around the circle to create a circle array. Now I can adjust the radius so I can make it much broader or narrower if I want to. I can also adjust the starting angle, in other words where the circle actually begins from. I can set that back to any degrees I like, like so. The other thing I can do is I can also rotate the objects around the circle array as it's created. So at the moment they're following the same axis as the existing star shape, but if I check rotate objects you'll see they rotate to go around the actual circle array, like so, as you can see there. I can also create things like an arc segment by clicking this uh, radio button here and you'll see now it just goes along an arc and I can again change the quantity, I can set the radius, I can st change the starting angle to create the sort of effect I'm looking for. I have all these options. The other thing I can do is create a spiral effect. Now I'll just zoom out, I just want to show you exactly how this works by just getting it in the right position. And as you can see here, it, it actually does a circle array around spirals. I can also adjust how big the spiral is. So I'll just have to zoom out a little bit here, readjust it. As you can see, as I move around, the preview goes. But as soon as I come back in here and start changing it again, the preview's back. As we can see like that. Now using this tool, you can create a whole range of different effects using the spiral tool. And as you can see, you get different patterns as you do it. So it's really worth experimenting with some of these uh, settings here to try and get different uh, different effects. And once you're happy with something you've created, in this case this sort of spiral effect I've got here, you simply click apply and the effect is applied and all these objects are independent of the original, as you can see there. Now I can also make the actual spiral effect uh, actual clones of the original. So what I do is I come here and I click preview and it remembers the settings I've just had, as you can see the spiral effect again. But now I can check apply as clones. When I click apply here, all these uh, star shapes are now a clone of the original. So if I click on the original and change it to say uh, red, you'll see they all change to red. And if for example I rotate them, they all rotate. So that's how you apply circle arrays using the circle array tool here using all these different settings and it's really worth experimenting with some of these different uh, numbers because you can get some really quite interesting effects uh, and then of course you can apply this with all sorts of objects. So that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.